Jamie here from nocode.ie. In this four part guide, we're going to show you how we built our nocode.ie web page using software and Airtable. We used free versions of both of those no code tools. So, in theory, this is how you can build a web page for free in, in less than 45 minutes. If that's of interest to you, stick around. Don't be afraid to subscribe to our channel. Please like our videos if you enjoy the content. And if you have any questions, as you go through, please leave a comments in the comment section below, or you can always pause and rewind and rewatch the section uh, in question. Okay, that said, let's jump right in and let's build. Okay, so first step is to head over to software.io. There's a link in the description section of the video below. If you'd like to follow that link, it, you'll land here. Software.io is um, uh, it's a, it's an amazing tool. It lets you build very functional, very practical, very good looking, very fast uh, websites. Uh, they brand themselves as being able to do it in, in, in 10 minutes. I suppose in theory that is true. Now you probably want to spend more than 10 minutes building um, your website. So you have it just right. But if you're looking to get even just a landing page or something up in a hurry, uh, if you're making a startup business or, or you're just looking to get something out there, of course you can get something up. You can probably get something up in the space of two minutes even. Um, but anyway, uh, uh, I'm going to show you how we built our nocode.ie web page here. It's quite um, a basic web page in terms of it's a landing page. Um, there's 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 then the guides function, which is effectively uh, a, a blog, and I'll show you how the back end of all this works in terms of um, uh, using Airtable in the back end. And um, there's also then a tools resource listing. So effectively, uh, this again pulls from another base in Airtable. So all of this uh, stuff that you see on the screen here, I didn't have to manually create this. This was all um, pre pre-prepared pre by the software uh, program and um, taking what I have in a base in Airtable. Okay, if you're not familiar with Airtable, I'll be doing um, a standalone video as to what Airtable is um, in a future video. And if you like the sound of that, please don't be afraid to subscribe to my channel. Um, I'll also be doing videos uh, and tutorials on each of these uh, different tools that you see here. And I'll be continuously, continuously adding tools to this list here. Anyway, that's enough of a plug for my own web page. Uh, next thing, next step really is to set up your free account with software.io. You can do that here in the pricing section. The free plan is really going to cover, um, you know, 90% of cases where you're trying to just launch um, a, a new web page, whether it's for a startup or a new business idea that you have, or whether it's for, um, you know, a specific product or whether it's for a specific page that you're trying to build out for your existing business, right? You'll see here, it also allows a custom domain, which is really quite impressive for a free plan. Um, and we found that you're able to build, you know, really quite high high functionality type websites and um, using even just the free plan here so when you sign up you get access to effectively the um visual uh, web page slash web apps uh, builder and um, there's all sorts of templates here which you might like the look of or you might like to start with and obviously you can then customize it further obviously if you're going for speed using one of these templates would be um quite a good way to do that but um you know for example i could use this one but i suppose for the sake of this tutorial i'm going to show you how i would build a website you know from scratch so i'm going to choose blank and it's dropped me in here so now we're in the actual web page builder so you've got all of your um buttons here on the left hand side so the way software works is you uh, create your pages in the pages tab and um you know at the moment it's only got a home page i'm going to add a page for guides that i showed you earlier save that there i'm also going to add a page for uh, tools and i'll save that there and i'm going to add a page for contact now if you choose a template a lot of these pages will already be built out for you but this is just to show you the process if you're starting from scratch 
So I've got um, most of my pages there. What I will, I will need two more pages. One being the um the, the, the guides detail page, which means when anybody clicks on a guide for, on my guides page. So for example, when I click on if we go to guides here, when I click on this article here, how to automate your social media using Airtable and app, it knows to go to a web page that displays that particular article, right? So. The way that works in software is you need to give it a, a guides detail page and you only build that out once. And then every time you click a different article, it software knows to use that page, but just produce or show the information relating to that last article that you clicked. So it's really quite useful. It means you don't have to build a page for each and every post on your website. You literally build it once as the structure and then everything else will work in the back end, which I'll show you in just a second in our table. So if we go back to our pages, I'm going to do that quickly here now. So I'll call this guide's detail. You can call it whatever you like. I suppose it's important that it, it makes sense to you, but also from a social or a search engine optimization standpoint, it probably wants to be quite descriptive as to what it actually is. So I'm going to click save, that's guides detail, and then I'm going to also set up tools detail. So that's again, similar to, to guides there, when you come in here and you click on any of the tools, um, it knows to show the information, say for example, if I go into software, it's going to show you the information that I have in my Airtable base relating to software. And you'll see there, tools detail with the record ID from the Airtable base and it's produced it's showing that information from that base. And if that doesn't make sense to you, it will by the end of this video when I show you the Airtable part of, of this tutorial. So if we come back in here, the only page I well no I have contact there. So this is the basic structure really for, for, for that type of website and I'm going to be able to produce everything I have in here with this number of pages. It's only one, two, three, four, five, it's six pages yet. This web page it has quite a bit of depth to it given the number of tools listed and the number of guides listed. So you can see really how simple software makes it. And um, now that you have your pages, the next step is to actually add um, the building blocks that I might have mentioned earlier in terms of what components are going to be on each of the pages. So we'll start with the home page. And again, it allows you to select your blocks from here on the left, but I'm going to click here and add my first block. So the first block will generally be a hero type thing, something at the top of your page to, to, to um, you know, get your message out there as to what it, your web page is about and, and key messages if nobody saw if if people didn't see anything else on your web page what would you want them to see as first thing when they land here so let's just say i'm going to try and reproduce from memory the no code revolution is here okay and then here i have a blurb about how to um use no code tools to uh, launch um uh, web pages and web apps um, for your uh, new business. Okay. Next thing, I'll just leave the image as standard, but obviously you can upload um, uh, whatever image you'd like to go here. It gives the option to change where that image goes. Um, I quite like software in that, you know, in other web page developers that I use, such as um, WordPress um, and, and, and other ones like Wix and whatever else. There's quite a lot of time that you spend on actually dragging and dropping things to be where you want it to be. Whereas I suppose software takes a lot of the pain out of that in that it has a, a number of prescribed options and you just pick the option. And I think each and all of the options look quite well. So I'll change it to bottom there. I'm going to want to make my um, action to be, um, you know, get in touch and I'm going to have that link to my contact page that I built out earlier. So there's obviously nothing on the contact page as yet, but um, I'm going to put a basic form on that page in, in, in just a moment. So that's going to link to my contact page. That's basically it for, for the main block there. So um, I'm going to now add, um, add, add, add a new block. This one will be um, 
This one will be a, a feature. This is where I'm going to put, um, I'm gonna put my, uh, I'm gonna, okay. So next thing is gonna be the video that I'm gonna have on my landing page. And um, you're gonna come down here to the bottom to other. And there is a building block called simple video. So I'll add that in. Now I'm gonna actually put this down below my drop. Um, usually people would put a header in for whatever reason as a design choice. I didn't, I've only included a footer at my page, um, but you can by all means add a header and you can add your logo at the, at the top of your at the top of your web page. So effectively to um, change my video, you can, again, you can upload your thumbnail here and then you can put in your video um, URL here. So I'll just leave that as is for now again but again if you have a youtube clip or if you have some video clip that you'd like to include here you drop the link in there and then you choose what thumbnail you would like to appear so i i think that looks good for demonstration purposes and um, the last block no it's not the last block there are uh, two more blocks to go for the home page so i'm going to add in um the uh, the, the register your interest form so if i go to form Actually, hold on, it's not form. It is a call to action here. And I'm going to go with this one here, which is similar enough to it. And again, I want this to go down two steps. It's, it's below the, the, the video. And I'm gonna say, um, register your interest. Okay, now I haven't shown you this yet, but beside each of these, um, bits within your block there has there's this palette here on the right hand side the palette allows you to customize that piece so for example if i wanted to change the color of that text uh, you can come in here and you can change it to blue or you can change it to whatever color you'd like you might have a particular hex color that you use for your branding and um, i use this particular color throughout the no code website and um, so you can update that and um you know you get you get an idea for the level of customizability here but it's really when you go to play around with it that you can you fully understand what what you can and can't do sometimes um sometimes you can't quite have it exactly as you'd like but it's still um you know it's it, software is more about building a, a functional good looking web page without necessarily having the full blown um, ability to customize exactly as you would like however that said the customization features are still very strong so subtitle and uh, you know I've, I've said something along the lines of the first 10 uh, people to uh, register their interest will have free access to the community and e-learning um, uh, e course uh, for life and, and something like that. So then what you have to do is uh, program what happens when somebody puts in their email. Um, well, I'm going to want them, first of all, I want this to say um, uh, submit. Submit and what I want them to do, you can link it up with any of your mailing softwares you can even send it to zapier and um, which means you can connect it with virtually any tool in the no code space from there same with integromat but for the sake of this um exercise I, i'll just say forward to my email so i'll put in i'll put in my email address there this isn't my real email but um you, you get the the idea and so whenever anybody posts their email there and click submit it will send me uh, an email to my email address now obviously a good option here to become more organized would be to select zapier and then maybe have it trigger that it sends um, a, a it sends a new record into Airtable so you can compile a list of all of the all of the people that have registered their interest okay so that's that so the last thing for the home page really is the um is the footer so if i go and i find footer here it is here and um, i think this one looks quite similar to what i have on the no code page already so footer there i would update that with my um, no code.ie logo and then over here you've got all of your various links and this is where you can edit what is here effectively so i'm going to call the first one home suggest having a home page link and then the action will be open and home page 
Next one then will be uh, guides. So guides, and again, I've got a page set up for guides. I don't yet have anything on it, but I'm gonna click uh, guides there. So I will link to my guides page and I'll show you in just a second how to actually, um, you know, produce uh, the, the guides that you need, uh, that, that, that you build out on your guides page. Okay, next one is tools. Uh, put the tools in there, and I've already set up a page for tools, and I will link to tools. And then the last one is contact, and I'm going to link that to the contact page. So there we go. I'm going to delete out all of these remaining ones. You just click the little X here on the right hand side, and click X on the right hand side. Um, I'm not going to update my social media links in this tutorial, but you can update your various um, social medias and you can add additional ones if you have extras, such as you might have Pinterest or you might have LinkedIn or whatever it might be. So Again, you can update your your um, your your copyright thing down at the bottom. The only thing I'll change there is twenty twenty one Robsy into the new year, and um, I'm not going to update the logo. But it's it, it, you know it's very easy here just to change the logo, which is hidden behind me. So you can change that that thing there to be your logo effectively. Okay, so that's the home page done. Um, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to build uh, the guides and the tools section using Airtable as the back end. Um, so, look, thanks for sticking with me. If you like this video, please feel free to click like to subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions on anything I've done in the video, please leave a comment below. And if you have any specific requests about uh, future videos that you'd like to see, um, feel free to, to, to let me know what you'd like to see. Um, anyway, for now, if you want to keep going with this tutorial, please see part two in the next video.